Welcome back to the channel as I just finished watching some more Oilers stuff uh, with Dave Tippett and Connor McDavid. Didn't watch anything else. But we do have some roster updates here as I just talked about Dylan Holloway going down earlier. Uh, yesterday it was William Legison clearing waivers. So this morning before the team's practice... RNH, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Mike Smith were on the ice before the team was uh, skating, doing what they can. Tippett hopes they'll be back to play or er, to practice early next week. That's huge for the Oilers as missing Ryan Nugent Hopkins. I could tell, I said in the Holloway video, the defensive game from our forwards seems to be lacking, and that's what Ryan Nugent Hopkins brings to the table. For them and ten Oilers. In 30 games this season. He has 26 points. We all thought he was on. like Not all of us. Let me rephrase that. The media thought he was on a scoring slump. And you know. I did a video about that. He wasn't. You know. He didn't score his first goal. till he had I think 19-20 assists. Assists are just as meaningful. As scoring goals. And he's a huge part of our offense. Especially that power play on the left-hand boards. Being a lefty shot on that side, trust me, I know, it's hard. But he makes it look so easy that it's phenomenal. So that's good news on the Oilers' front. Uh, like I said, Mike Smith was out there too. You know, not having the season he wanted, but with all the COVID and being hurt, multiple injuries this season, he hasn't been able to play a lot to get into that game form you remember last season where he played got hurt you know it took him a few games I think it was like six seven games before he got back to game speed and he was lights out for us the rest of the year I'm hoping that happens but you know I still have faith in Stuart Skinner for that uh, so Mike Smith is back on the ice hopefully next week same with RNH now to continue for tonight's game uh, no one knows the lineups quite yet it is confirmed Chris Russell is back from injury he will be in the lineup and Brendan Perlini after missing practice yesterday he got a little banged up a few days ago at practice he will be in tonight so that's huge news not with no uh, injury front for him there and this guy's a this guy's a good player Tippett hasn't given him the chance tonight he might I believe he will be on a line with Perlini or uh, with McDavid and Yamamoto which gives him a shot he we saw what he could do in the preseason he's a bona fide goal scorer he's just not been given the shot to actually become that his days in Phoenix were limited. His days in Detroit, he he's never made it past the third line, essentially, on either team. And that is hard on a player when they know they have so much potential. But when you're a guy that could potentially be a top six forward in the NHL, and we've seen it with Pugliarvi, and you play with third liners and fourth liners... Your career is going down the drain there. Not to say a lot of people can't do it, but a lot of people can't do it. So with Perlini, he has four points in 18 games this season. You know, three goals, one assist. He was on the snide for the longest time before they sent him down to Bakersfield for a couple games. Uh, also on that, so Chris Russell's back. He has he's played. 14 games this season he has two points both assists like I said assists are just as important as goals um, he is a plus three which is good huge shot blocker you know ever since he got injured really this team's shot blocking has gone down the team's hitting has gone down uh, Nimalina did a good job while he was here or before he got injured doing that stuff so Chris Russell's back, you know, huge penalty kill guy for us. He's only taken one penalty in 14 games. That's phenomenal. Good on him. So the lineups aren't aren't out yet because the Edmonton Oilers are waiting for COVID tests. 
and it sounds like Zach Hyman's waiting for his final result. Uh, that could change the whole lineups, like I said, for the Edmonton Oilers. So that is game time decision whenever they have that come out. I could t check Twitter right now. Uh, I was just on there, didn't see anything. Um, yeah, still nothing on Twitter. So they are waiting for Zach Hyman's test to come back. Zach Hyman's been a good pickup. Everyone was kind of worried about the year and the terms, like the term years and the salary, but he's been a decent pickup. You know, 21 points in 32 games. It adds more depth scoring. If the Edmonton Oilers didn't actually go get him this summer, where would our top six scoring be in per se? So that's huge for Zach Kyman. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. That's all the updates as we're talking about Zach Kyman. He scores on your screen here. Hopefully he can play tonight, and hopefully that's the same result. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.